Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about six wall pressure. When we talk about our rooms all the time, I think we have a tendency to think just four walls, but there's really six surfaces in a room that we have to be aware of. We have side wall to side wall, floor to ceiling, and front to rear. And all three of those sound fields have to be addressed. Okay? They just have to be because they're all producing different frequency and amplitude issues, okay? Modal pressure, we all know about room modes. Air excitation by wavelengths that won't fit, okay? Let's add that in there, that won't fit. Fit into what? The dimensions of the room, okay? There's reasons for that, we'll figure it out later. Air excitation produces audible distortion common term you hear tossed around is bass boom. Well, that's just really a layman's term for room mode, okay? So that's what we need to keep in mind. Those distortion can range 4 dB to 14 dB. I saw a 16 dB bump the other day in a room based on dimensions. So it's huge. These, this is huge distortion. Forget about the relationship in the numbers. Just realize it's unacceptable. It's huge, okay? It has to be fixed. We have the three dimensions. We already talked about that. Front, rear, sidewall, sidewall, floor to ceiling. Each surface area, different frequency and amplitude. You must treat each surface area with a different treatment type. And this is where people also fail to understand. Each room wall boundary surface exhibits a different frequency and amplitude issue at a different strength. So you have to treat frequency and amplitude, okay? You got to do both. Not all products in the marketplace produce the proper rate and level of absorption. And this is critical. Our laws of physics tell us that anybody can design a box that goes down to 40 hertz. That's not difficult. It's depth density of the cabinet. Those are your two main variables, okay? That will determine how the level of the technology is, what, how low the frequency will go to, right? So you want to uh, look at the rate. How much at that level do we get? That's the key. How much horsepower in absorption per square foot do we get for that product? Okay, that's the real thing you have to look at. You have to low, you have to look at the level, obviously, but you must consider the rate. Okay, that's real critical. Our ACDA series, 35% at 30, nice, 63% at 40, and 100% at 50. So huge sponges. Every 12 square, square feet of unit, one unit, about 1.5 dB attenuation. So you get a good, predictable, and consistent tool that you can use in that 30, 40, 50 hertz range with the ACDA12, with the ACDA10, a more broadband approach, 30 to 300. And then you put our foam on the face of each unit, you extend the response up to 6300, which is a good frequency range that most engineers work in, 30, 40 to 6300, okay? So, what do we use to do that? Diaphragmatic. Of the three types, Hemholtz, Membrane, and Diaphragmatic, Diaphragmatic has the most horsepower. Boxes built with in, building insulation, they don't have that kind of horsepower. They may go to 40 hertz, but they don't get enough. They don't get enough to make a big difference in the attack and decay rates. That's their goal. That's the goal of any low frequency absorption. Have an impact on the response time of the room and in that response time is attack and decay. So that's what you have to really be concerned about. Diaphragmatic absorption per square foot, the only one that has the horsepower to deal with low frequency energy. And then you add our carbon technology on the inside of the cabinet. Remember depth and density of the cabinet determine the level. The rate, how much you get, is determined by the cabinet fill material. And building insulation just doesn't have the horsepower not compared to carbon. So that's what you want to look at. Level, how low does it go, and rate. 
realizing that there are six walls involved in this process. So how are we going to treat the floor to ceiling dimension? We got to go to the ceiling or we got to go to the floor. Most people opt for the floor and look at our carbon platforms. That's the same technology that we use in the carbon panels in the ACDA series, only in a platform you can sit your workstation or listening position on. So our carbon uh, platforms and our carbon technology is all part of diaphragmatic absorption, which is our primary methodology that we use. Six wall pressure, it's just not about four. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.